So hello fellow coin collectors, this is Glenn, back with another video and today we're just going to have a look at the current coins of Norway. But there is one exception, it is the 50 Ure. This coin is no longer used, it hasn't been used since 2011, but it's just the coin I actually got with this set, so I might as well just show it here anyway. As you can see, we have the one krone, two krone, ten krone, and the twenty krone. And these two have holes in it, basically to distinguish it from the larger one krone bank uh, coin that they actually used beforehand. And do I actually have one on the table? I did have one before. Maybe I have. Uh, Put it away. Anyway, it's actually a bit of a larger coin. But this one is actually a lot better designed than the previous one krona. And the value of the one krona is about 15 cents. So we have a 7.5 cent coin, 15. We have a 75 cent coin, a dollar 50 cent coin and a three dollar coin that's the equivalent in the australian dollar so the actual value fluctuates between five and seven krona to one australian dollar so on the 50 euro this was demonetized in 2012 on the 1st of the 5th but it actually has a myth uh dragon type creature called a ding hog so it actually looks like a fin dragon it has long legs long tail and it has a long tongue coming out there it has a denomination the country's name and this is 2009 and if you can get the 2011 there's actually an error version in which the ones are reversed so that is actually An area that's actually a little bit expensive. So this is the 2009, has about 10 million coins. So it's, while it is a bit low mint, it's pretty standard for Norwegian coins. Usually they have a high mintage, like 20 or 30 million coins, generally in the earlier stage of the issuance of that coin. And then later on they drop down to, you know, like a hundreds of thousands or a million. So low mint coins for... Norway are actually quite common and on the obverse so this is the obverse with the actual crown and we have the mint mark down below so the next coin we have is the run krona and that was first introduced in 1997 it's the last minted in 2016 and another feature of Norwegian coins is that they don't issue coins every year Sometimes they have a large run, like 20 years, and then they just stop. But since 2016, they actually haven't issued any one krona coins. And that also has probably been exacerbated by the uh, electronic payments. So, the previous coins are actually introduced are probably sufficient for circulation. And on this one, we have the, a stylized bird up here. On a vine, so this is a type of vine, the denomination, and this one is actually plain. And on the back, we have uh, H for Herod and fifth, so Herald the fifth, and his name is three times around the crown, and the country is named down here, and the mint mark and the mint master. So they didn't actually put in here, probably because the country's name actually interfered with the actual design. So this one is dated 2001, and there's only like 7.3 million of these coins, so pretty low mint. Uh, lower than the 1972, 5 cent, but still the collector's market is actually smaller. And you can actually pick these up quite cheaply for a dollar or less 
So the next coin we have is the five krona. This was first introduced in 98, so this is the second year of the coin. And on this side we have the Order of St. Olaf. Sorry, that's the other side. This one just has uh, some sprigs going around the denomination. Uh, 99 had a mintage of uh, about 21.7 million. So it's actually not a rare coin. Uh, the 2001 is actually a pretty low mint, 460,000. Uh, that's probably the lowest. And this coin was last minted in 2017. And before that, 2012 so quite obviously there's no real demand for these type of coins in the 2010s and I would say that's probably going to get worse in the future in which uh, these coins are actually minted less and less because they have plenty of coins that were issued in the past okay so this is the order of Saint Olaf so we have the actual chain going around and this is the actual uh, metal itself and then we have the engraver and the actual mint Oslo mint and on the down below we just have the kingdom of Norway Kungeriket Norge Noreg so I know I butchered that Norwegian I'm sorry but uh, that's what happens when you don't know a language anyway so that's quite a nice coin with the design of the Order of Saint Olaf. Then we have the Ten Krona that was first issued in 1995. They actually had a, a different one issued before then and that design is actually a lot better. So this one and the Trinity Krona in Nickel Brass it has a very bad dollar fifty and this one has the roof of the of a church so that's has tiles on the church you can see the cross there and then we have the denomination and uh, 2001 so many coins were minted in 2001 9.8 million still because it has a 9.8 million it's actually pretty high it's not the highest I would say it's probably mid mint range because your first mintage had 60 million that was just to put into the market because the previous 10 coronas actually got demonetized and then the mintage generally decreases and on the obverse we have uh, the portrait of Harold V and this portrait I just don't really like for some reason because they have lots of gaps here lots of gaps there and this just looks plain and it looks like his head's been cut off, so pretty, pretty sad thing. And here it says "Out for Norge, all for Norway." So, as Norwegian and English are German languages, and are related, I think for like uh, probably two or three thousand years. Is that right? Then. A lot of the actual words look similar. So for is the same. Country's name is similar. Out or all is also the same. So all for Norway is definitely Germanic words. Which are with that we go to the 20 krona. And this one's more symmetrical. So the 20 is in the center. It should be the actual standard of design. And on this one we have the bow of a Viking longboat. So that's a, a boat they used to go overseas in. They 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 have a, a reputation as being rapers and pillagers. Maybe they did that, but then again, so did pretty much everyone else at that time. And they were mostly farmers so they went overseas to settle new lands to make new kingdoms and uh, a lot of England was actually settled by these type of people they have an area they used to be called Deanland in 
central England, in which are uh, all the people from Denmark, uh, or Jutland, the Saxons, and the Angles settled there, and they had their own laws. Today we were incorporated into London, and actually did influence the English language. So this coin was first issued in 1994, and it is a nickel brass, 9.9 millimeters, ah, the grams I mean, 27.5 millimeters. And if we have a look at the mintage figures, so the initial mintage was a uh, 18.5 in 94, 95, 21 million, then it decreased to about 1.5 million in 96. In 2003, they produced 30 million coins, so this is a, it's a high mintage. So really, this is only pretty much over face value, which is $3. But you can probably pick it up for $5. And they actually haven't minted this coin for 11 years, since 2009. So, uh, this is another indication that Electronic payments are affecting the mintages of coins because obviously even the coins from 94, 95 still are sufficient along with 2002 and 2003 to supply the market. So if uh, coins actually decrease in the, uh, coin usage decreases in the market, then the coins that you actually have in the market can last a lot longer. So, 17 years without sufficient supply of coins, anyway. So those are the coins of Norway. And as you can see, the effigy on this 20 is the same as the 10. So, pretty much, if we take away this coin, Norway just has 4 coins, from 15 cent to 3 dollars. And a lot of these small countries are actually going this way, like Denmark has a smaller coin of 10 cents. Sweden got rid of all their Euro coins, so the one krona of Sweden is worth about 20 cents. Finland has a, a coin, is it 5 euro cents, so that's nearly 10 cents. Iceland is one of the few countries that actually issue a coin that's worth about one cent. That's the one krona. And the larger countries generally keep coins of value of one cent. So, if you go to Norway, these are the actual coins you're going to actually be using. Except for the 50 euro. So anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time.